guys, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. If you enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know and also please don't forget to hit subscribe, it honestly would mean the world to me. For today's video, I am going to be doing a drama school kitless survival guide, what you need to basically get through drama school. I know so many of you guys are auditioning just now, which means you will hopefully be starting at drama school in September. Then this will hopefully give you an idea of the things that you need and the things that you might not realise that are actually going to make your life a whole lot easier. If you guys do find this video helpful, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. I love knowing what videos you guys are enjoying and what videos I should make more of. Also, if you have any requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below because I love getting your guys' opinions and what videos you want to see because ultimately, I want to give you guys the content that you want to see. This massive bundle of stuff and stuff on the floor that you can't see is my drama school essentials. These are things that I use on the daily, on the weekly, and basically things that just make your life at drama school a whole lot easier. I'm gonna start with the biggest thing, which is a rucksack. I started off drama school with a side bag, if that makes sense, because I was like, I hate rucksacks. I look like a weirdo wearing a rucksack. Honestly, guys, please get a big rucksack that you will wear on both shoulders because otherwise you're gonna kill your back carrying around all this stuff. And as dancers and performers, we need to have good backs. So a rucksack is a must have. Mine is from Calvin Klein. It was in the sale, so it's not available anymore, but it is massive. And that is basically what you need to carry your life around with you every single day. The next thing is trainers. For Erdang, we have to wear black trainers, but I remember at GSA, it didn't have to be black trainers. It could be any trainer. So just make sure to check with the school that you're going to. I have two pairs of black trainers. One pair is this Nike, oh, I forgot what they're called, Vapor Max. Nike Vapor Max. They're super squishy, good for running, good for dancing, all these kind of things. I also wear these to the gym. These are my gym trainers. So if you are going to the gym while you're at drama school, make sure to have a good pair of gym trainers that aren't going to wreck your knees. Then I have my more like everyday for class trainers, which are the Nike Air Force Ones. And these are the DIY ones. So you can take the, um, ticks off so that they're just all black and you also have silver ticks and gold ticks these are the bronze ones so at Erdang we do actually have to have all black trainers so it's super easy I can just take these ticks off these are really good because they're comfy I wear these loads for like acting singing but I wouldn't really um dance or work out in these because they're not really supportive enough obviously it's not essential that you have two pairs of black trainers it's just essential that you have a pair of trainers that are comfy and that are going to do you for the whole year. Also, I know trainers are expensive, but honestly, if I could say invest in a good pair of trainers like Nike or Adidas or something, because you're gonna wear them every single day. And if you buy loads of cheap trainers, it'll probably add up to be more than if you just bought one pair of good trainers. So the next two items are for recovery. That would be a foam roller, which is honestly a lifesaver. I know I'm bad and I don't roll as much as I should, but when I do, oh my God, the difference it makes is insane. And a spiky ball. I actually bought this from the treatment department at Erdang, but you can grab these on Amazon. I got this on Amazon, I think. And yes, they are amazing. And I swear they will save your life and your muscles when you feel like you're gonna die in week two. <laughs> Next up would be a reusable water bottle. My personal preference is one of these thermal water bottles. I know some people don't have these, but I personally think these are the best because they keep your water cold. And trust me, when you're in the middle of that sweaty jazz class, you're gonna be so grateful for this. Mine is from Chili's and it is this 750 milliliters one in the chrome rose gold edition I think it's called. Some people think this bottle's too big, but I honestly think it's perfect because you don't have to worry about filling it up 700 times a day. You probably only have to fill this up once or twice a day if you're drinking a lot of water. This bottle is amazing. I know chili is expensive, so you can get bottles like these from Primark, Typo, all those kind of places that are much more affordable. Next up is kind of like stationery and stuff like that. First would be a pencil case. I have this super cute little rose gold pencil case from Carol Caroline Gardner that I got for Christmas. This is just super small and in it I have a highlighter because you will always need a highlighter, highlighting scripts, highlighting notes and all those things. I have a USB with any like important documents or if I need to print off stuff at college, this is quite handy. I have a cork which we use in voice. I know some schools use bone props but at Erdang we use corks. I have a pencil because you need this for cutting sheet music and it also has a rubber on the end. If you're not gonna have a separate rubber, make sure you have a pencil with a rubber. And also make sure you're that person that has a pencil because everyone always be like, does anyone have a pencil? Does anyone have a pencil? And you're like, 
I'm prepared. Also, I have two black pens just because I get worried one will run out. I have this cheap one from Sainsbury's and this super, super cute one that one of my family friends got me for Christmas. I know Jacqueline will be watching, so thank you very, very much for this. I absolutely love it. It is from Typo and it has a really cute L on the top and it is rose gold because she knows I'm obsessed with anything rose gold. So that is everything in my pencil case. Honestly, a pencil case is a lifesaver. Most people have like three pens and a pencil just chucked in the bottom of their bag and then it all gets lost. So if you have it all in a pencil case, it's going to stay nice and safe together. So next up is a notebook, which I have another pen in. And this notebook is from Paper Chase. It says a be nice on it, which, you know, sometimes on a Friday afternoon when you want to kill everyone... It's quite helpful to see. No, I'm joking. But honestly, a notebook is the best thing you can have at drama school. You just keep all your notes in it. And it means if you ever need to refer back to them, you can. And they're all in one place. And if you have like 7,000 bits of paper here and there that you've written notes on, you're going to lose stuff. So honestly, get a super cute notebook that you like. And it will make you want to take more notes. Next up is folders. So you guys have heard me banging on about folders like these 7,000 million times in videos before. But honestly, I'd say if you take anything from this video, buy a wallet folder. So it is a plastic folder that has wallets that you can keep your sheet music in. And honestly, it makes your life easier, makes the pianist's life easier, and they will love you for having one of these. This is the folder that I carry about with me like every day at college. And then I have a big folder back here. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Oh! This is my huge rep folder. So I actually have another one of these on my shelf back there, but they're both the same. This gorgeous pink ring binder is from Ryman's. I remember in summer term, my friend Ella wanted to go to Ryman's and I was like, oh yeah, I'll come, but I don't need anything. Definitely came out with two of these folders because they are amazing. It is obviously this gorgeous baby pink color, which I love. This one has my post 1965 rep. So I keep this folder at home. My other one has my legit rep and my pop rock rep and I have it all organized in alphabetical order. And it means that basically whenever we have a certain term at Erdang, I can just go to this folder and I have so, so many songs. Some of them I've worked loads on. Some of them I don't know as well, but they're all great songs also when it comes to when you graduate you're going to be so so grateful to your past self for keeping all of these songs and holding on to them because when your agent phones you and tells you you have an audition in one day you know you're going to go into these folders and have something that pro that's appropriate that you can sing next up i think i'm going to do hair stuff i'd say this isn't all essentials one thing i've just realized i've not got here is hair bubbles bun nets and bun pins go to boots buy all them honestly will save your life for ballet bun pins from boots are the best or bobby pins or whatever you want to call them the ones off amazon not so good make sure to go to boots when it comes to hair brushes and stuff i have this um pink tangle teaser it's super good for like slicking your hair back however if you want to go extra slick we have the fine tooth comb and you're probably wondering what this is but it is actually a toothbrush now I never knew this was a thing. These two are not essentials, but at Erdang, we love a slick bun. So if you want a slick bun, this is what you need in your life. This is great. However, this is next level. You take your gel, which is another one of my essentials. This is the um, VO5 Mega Hold Styling Gel. I think I got it in the man section in boots, but honestly, it's the best. You take your styling gel, you put it on your toothbrush, and you slick back all the tiny wispies in your hair. Honestly, nothing gets a slicker bun than a toothbrush. I'm gonna insert a photo now from my jazz assessment. That's the first time I'd ever toothbrushed my hair. And honestly, I've never had such a slick bun in my life. As well as gel. Honestly, I do think gel is so, so much better than hairspray, but also I always have hairspray. This is the VO5 Invisible Ultimate Hold Number Five Freezing Coconut Fragrance hairspray this hairspray is brilliant and it also smells amazing i got this one in boots as well this is just good for a last little like shh, keep everything in place but yes i do prefer gel than hairspray i have to say now we're gonna go on to like kit if you want to call it that i feel like that sounds like you're in school and you're going to pe everything is falling everywhere so this is like clothes and stuff that you'll need oh my god i'm sitting on stuff ah. for ballet you will need ballet tights. These are Capizio. These are actually a brand new pair, which is why they look great. Trust me, after I wash them once, they're purple. But anyway, these are nice and new. You will need probably, obviously this is just for Erdang, footed ballet tights. Can't imagine anywhere not wanting footed ballet tights. I like the convertible ones, which basically means they have a hole in the foot. So if you need to like slip your foot out for any reason, it's nice and handy. Capizio are the best dance tights in the world. 
They're my favourite ballet tights. I only wear Capizio ballet tights. So yeah, Capizio, I love you. They're amazing. I honestly think I've had about like 100 pairs of Capizio ballet tights in my life, which is a bit crazy. Next up is black footless tights, which you will wear for jazz, tap, contemporary, basically everything that's not ballet and is a dance class and also not street or commercial. I have black footless tights like this, ta-da, so your foot can come out the bottom. I also have one pair of stirruped black tights, but I don't like them that much. These ones are block. I'm not as fussy on my black tights, but my black tights are mainly block and I think Move Dancewear's own brand. I also have heard that Primark do amazing black footless tights, so if you're looking for a cheap version, Primark is the way to go. Now I just have a big pile of black clothing to my right and I'm not sure what it all is. Let's do leotards next. For leotards, obviously it's variant on the school. However, I would say you want at least one. Obviously, check your timetable. I'm just showing you one of everything. Like if you have ballet every single day, you're gonna need more than one ballet leotard. I have a big box of leotards down there, but I'm not gonna get them all out. This is a like black classical ballet leotard from Block. It's just very plain spaghetti strap. It's brilliant. You can basically wear it for any class, but ideally a classical leotard for ballet is always good. I know at Erdang we're only allowed to wear classical leotards for ballet, but other schools, obviously it could vary. And then for jazz, tap, any other lesson, basically if you want a more funky leotard, I have this long sleeve one from Block. It has like cutouts on the sleeves and an open back. Basically just a good variety of black leotards is gonna save your life at drama school. You don't wanna get to Friday, look in your drawer and be like, I have no leotards and go fishing in your washing basket for a dirty leotard because that's a bit gross. I always ask for them for birthdays and Christmases because leotards are not cheap. So for example, I got three new leotards for Christmas to stock me up for the new terms. Now, something that's a bit odd that you might not know is that you'll probably need a practice skirt or a character skirt, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like the skirts that you used to wear when you were little if you did RAD ballet. And it's basically just uh, elasticated waist, long, black skirt this is the specific one we need for erdang but honestly like most schools i don't think it matters which one you get and yes we wear this for ats for ip which is integrated performance and yeah basically it's just really handy and you will use it a lot i also had to have one at gsa so most drama schools i think require you to have one of these skirts now on to shoes the only pair of shoes i haven't got here because i can't currently locate them is my foot thongs some people love foot thongs, I personally hate them and they make my feet feel weird and I can't turn in them, but some people really find foot thongs helpful. Also, some schools like you to have jazz shoes at Erdine, we don't really wear jazz shoes, but yes, just check your school's uniform list. You will 99% of the time probably need a pair of ballet shoes. These are block, I think, yes they are. Ballet shoes get so dirty so easily, but honestly, you can just chuck them in the washing machine and they will look pretty brand new. You will also probably need tap shoes. I think every musical theatre course does tap. Honestly, I look like I'm sponsored by Block. I wish I was. Block, hit me up if you want to sponsor me. Next up is my Block tap shoes. I love these tap shoes. Oh my God. This is only my second ever pair of tap shoes. These are the Block... Oh my god, what are they called? Telly? No. Oh my god, I can't remember what they're called. They have a random name. I will leave them linked in the description box below. These tap shoes are epic. I love them. They're Oxford style tap shoes, basically meaning they just have laces up the front and they're just super, super comfy and they sound so nice. And they come with a little dust bag that says block on it, which I find very satisfying. And I like to keep them in there so they don't get scratched. Next up is character shoes. And actually character shoes are the last thing, which is crazy. So as you guys can see, you need a lot of stuff for drama school. For character shoes, you will most probably need a pair of black character shoes and a pair of nude character shoes. Wow, these are the wrong way around again looking like i'm sponsored by block i wish these are block um black new yorkers i literally got these when i went to new york like five years ago maybe even six years ago now and they're still going i mean the sole is kind of a bit flappy but nothing a bit of super glue won't fix and honestly black character shoes i wear them all the time these tan color character shoes i don't wear them as often but i know they will be handy personally i don't like this style they feel very unstable they're very wobbly and you feel like you might break your ankle in them but they look insane on your feet so for standing they look great for dancing i feel like i'm gonna break my ankle i have no idea what the name of them is but they also come in black but i only have these ones in nude because i had the black ones already so i think that's everything obviously you'll need like makeup and all those kind of things but i think in general 
for like drama school kit and things you will need that is everything i do hope this video has been helpful for you guys if it has please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know i just want to wish you all the best of luck with your auditions whether you're auditioning at erdang or anywhere else if you guys are auditioning at erdang and you see me helping out the auditions please do come and say hello it honestly makes my day a couple of you guys have said hello to me already at auditions and honestly it's amazing i hope you guys also enjoy the audition period i know it's stressful however try and enjoy it as much as you possibly can and as always if you ever need anything you can message me on instagram comment on my videos and i'll make sure to get back to you so again thank you so so much for watching this video and i will hopefully see you again soon bye